what is going up you guys this is a gck good christian kid um and this will be my first tutorial kind of on a champion named alawi um so she's a little bit type of different champion she's mainly for top lane but she can go mid lane too she can actually jungle which is not too bad either um so the nice thing about her is that her passive basically spawns tentacles and these things can latch onto walls um and this happens every 17 seconds so the cool thing about this is that you can place them around the map of where, where you want them to happen because once you do tag your opponents which i'll talk about then the tentacles will be able to slam down their tentacle on the map and will hurt them basically so it's kind of like a second helper um people have referenced her kind of as a heimendinger sometimes i can kind of see it with her tentacles and have the turrets but she's in my opinion a little bit better um, she does have a pretty cool dance as you can see with the tentacles. She dances with them, which is pretty awesome um, So we'll go over starting items um, So what you're gonna start out with is you're gonna start with a long blade and three pots um, This is had this has been more useful in my opinion than using a Dorn's blade and a health potion Yes, the Dorn's blade is nice to have but It's not as useful as you would seem because more Lowey is she can take a lot of damage but the nice thing about the long sword and three health bots is that she'll, she'll have more damage to sustain and she'll have an easier time staying in lane to try to get first blood um so what you really want to work up to is your black cleaver and i kind of like to do black cleaver first i do like to get ninja tabi boots on her because it does help with um basically from blocking from more um, armor so it does block 10% of the damage from basic attacks which does help in, in your favor um, I will put a link in the description of what to build first and uh, what's the best option kind of and also I will put my room page in here um, I do mainly take just kind of standard build um, I do take mainly just armor and then like magic resist standard um, physical damage and I think 4.5 attack speed um, I do like to have this attack speed in there so I can have a few more basic attacks off so I can have a better time killing the clone uh, so let's go over abilities so what her abilities are is I think it's really cool um, she's a little bit different than other champions um, so Let's look it up. So her abilities, here they are. Okay. So her Q is called Tentacle Smash. Allow e tentacles deal bonus damage and restore 5% of her missing health for every enemy champion they hit, which is actually kind of nice. So this is a little bit like Darius's Q a little bit. So it does get some health back to you, which is super nice to have. Um, Malawi slams her idol into the ground, briefly summoning a tentacle that slams on the target. So that is her passive. Her W is called Harsh Lesson. This is when she jumps to the person and targets them. So Malawi's basic attack gains bonus range and causes her dash to target dealing bonus physical damage. Harsh Lesson resets Malawi's auto attack timer. So what this does is it marks the champion so when the tentacle spawns, as you can see right there, it just attacked uh, Renekton because he was marked. So what it does is it, it marks the champion. So when you do have tentacles nearby, they'll be able to slam so you do more damage. Which people aren't expecting that if they never played against her. Um, for her E is Test of the Spirit. Allowing sends a tendril in the target direction that stops on the first unit it hits. If the unit is a champion, the tendril pulls their spirit, granting true sight of them and placed in front of Alawi, which is basically their spirit. The spirit is connected to the target by a tether. So what this does is, as you can see right now, it's kind of like a ghost of Renekton, of kind of like um, Mordekaiser? No, not Mordekaiser. Um, Mord. Um, so with him, he does spawn that kind of like his alt once he does kill someone. So kind of like the same thing, but a little bit different. So once you get it all the way down and you kill it, then what it does is slows the target by 80% decaying over two seconds and marks them as a 
basic tentacle, causing them to spawn a tentacle every 10 seconds for the next 60 seconds. If the te vessel kills or helps kill three tentacles or scores a takedown on Lowey, they are free from their curse. So basically it kind of curses the champion so that they are moving around on the map. So basically every 10 seconds for the next 60 seconds, they're cursed, their screen goes kind of a little bit darker and it seems a little bit more froggier. It's a little bit harder to see sometimes, but it basically curses them so that they'll have the curse so that the tentacles will come down and try to kill them. Um, I've had multiple occasions when people aren't safe and they're really low health and the tentacles actually kill them. Uh, so it's kind of nice to have. Um, and so her ult is Leap of Faith. Alawi leaps into the air before slamming her idol into the ground, dealing physical damage to all nearby units and summoning a tentacle for each enemy champion or spirit hit. For the next six seconds, all summon tentacles become untargetable and swing 50 times faster and harsh lessons base cooldown is reduced by second so that is her w so it's reduced so you can have more physical damage that is why when you are in team fights when you use your ultimate and you're in like in the jungle for example you have an easier time doing that because there'll be more tentacles that can spawn with your passive so that you can get more tentacles down and you can do more damage which is really cool um, so she she's a really fun champion to learn. She is a little bit different. Um, I do recommend her going a little bit more armor penetration slash tankiness. Um, it is a little bit harder sometimes when you're not first used to her. Um, so her main counters are going to be Darius, Fiora, Nar, Kennen, and Irelia. I didn't have that much hard time with Irelia. I had more time with Darius and Fiora um, because they do have with Darius he has his ultimate so he'll have more um, damage to do and he does have his bleed which really is hard against um, Alawi. Um, she has a hard time with bleeding champions or true damage because they do more damage than she can actually output unless she has a good matchup and the player's not that good as the champion. So once you do master her, you will have still a little bit harder time with those champions, but you will do a lot better. Um, so I take 12, 0, and 18 with Alawi. I'll be able to take a screenshot of that to tell you guys what I use for my mastery page so you can get all set up. Um, so she's a very good champion to learn, in my opinion, for low elo. She can carry the game pretty hard if you know how to play her. There's not as many people that play her on like platinum diamond and masters and challenger i think because she's good but she's not that good um she's better for lower elo because people don't know how to play against her and she does more damage um so she's a fun champion to learn i always take teleport and flash you can take ignite if you want to if you do want to do more damage um there is a higher percentage of winning because you do have your ignite so you can kill them faster get first blood and kind of snowball the game which is nice so this is example of when i use my ultimate and it really helps to do lots of damage in team fights so allow is coming up here comes darius i do tentacle him so i can um basically get him so all my tentacles and i alt and there's so many tentacles going down and i just use my w and more tentacles go down and just there's so much damage happening so you always want to use your e as much as you can to basically get them so your tentacles will happen and every 10 seconds for 60 seconds they will be marked so thank you guys for watching have a good day